This is Mike from Get Your Rocker, and I'm here at Hard Rock Hill United Hammerfest with the one, the only, Danny Filth. How are you doing, sir? I'm good, thank you. Cool. You're going to play a little bit later on with Devilman. How are you feeling right now? Are you feeling good, feeling excited? How am I feeling? Yeah. I get my hands and go like that. That's how I feel. <laughs> Favourite joke. Thank you for that. Thank you very much. You're doing all right. You've got you've got the uh, the contacts in. You're looking ready to go. Five. We stayed at a travel lodge. Couldn't get any sleep. Really, really rubbish beds. <laughs> but yeah, um, I guess you know Colin! you. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> this all this all makes sense in the edit. So. <laughs> I guess I guess uh, you'd be used to people asking you about you know the differences between Devilment, Cradle of Filth, and that kind of thing. I want to ask you something a little bit different because I remember you from uh, back in the day when I used to be in high school and everyone was into Cradle of Filth. However, I'm embarrassed to say I didn't first know you from Cradle of Filth. I knew you first from seeing you in an episode of Evil Abam, where you were just pranking Don Vito all yeah, over yeah, the place. Do you do you find that it's a bit difficult now that you're trying to do the Devilment stuff that all anyone ever seems to want to talk about is Cradle of Filth? Uh, well, yeah, I mean, that, that goes without saying. And I think that probably ignore, annoy the, the other people in the band far more than it will do me. Um, and the thing is, with a debut album as well, people are always going to look upon it as being uh, a project. Um, and now that we actually we have a new guitarist, um, the other one just blew away in a storm, um, and we're, we're working toward a second album, I think people will take it a lot more seriously. Cause it's a great album. And it's very different from Cradle. Um, some people were a little bit like, it's very different. It's like, well, yes, obviously, you know, it'd be absolutely pointless to do the same thing. I mean, Cradle's Cradle. Um, we're in the midst of recording our new album. Um, in fact, I've literally just finished, the vo- well, almost finished the vocals uh, for that, shooting a video for that next week. And uh, yeah, the two are like chalk and cheese, really. And that's, I think that's really good, you know. With the new Devilment stuff, we're really going to experiment, uh, throw some more female stuff into the equation. New guitarist has brought a lot to the table. Um, but, but yeah, the, the, the Cradle thing will always be, you know, something that, 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 that is tied to the band by default alone. Yeah. What do you find, uh, what do you like about being here as opposed to when you used to be in Cradle? Do you find it, the things are more free here? You know, you, you're able to express yourself more? Because I guess it's kind of still your band in a way. You know, you have a lot of input. Yeah, that's true, yeah. Um, we are a united band. Uh, the thing is about Devilment, we're a very local band. Actually, aside from my new guitarist, who's London-based. But um, we literally live for a stone's throw from each other. And I often throw stones at them. <laughs> um, whereas Cradle are literally spread across a known galaxy. You know, our keyboardist is from Canada. Um, so things are just a bit more easy now. Yeah, yeah. And whereas Cradle, I get a lot more sort of hassle if we're doing something like this. And I would probably could be confined to, to, you know, backstage for a while. With Devilman, I just can just breeze around, just chatting to people and that. And they just, they don't feel like they, you know, like coming up to us. They, they're like, oh, I don't know, right? as if it's a natural thing in the world. Whereas if we were here with Cradle, they'd probably shy away as if like, you know, oh, you know, he's in pro mode. But I'm always in pro mode, not prostitute mode. I was going to ask, I mean, it's, it's always interesting whenever I have someone who uh, has that very identifiable stage persona, you know, you know, maybe there's makeup, maybe there's a thing and all that kind of thing. But you've always struck me as kind of, you know, nice enough guy off stage you know on stage you have your thing going did you find back in the day that people used to be nervous to approach you they thought that you were kind of that kind of out there kind of person in real life i, I think uh, the legacy of cradle of Phil, especially on the road when when we had a, uh, an earlier lineup in incarnation a lot of people especially in america were afraid to approach us because uh, we kind of uh, we had a, a sort of foreshadow that, that went ahead of us, and people were like, "Oh God, Cradle are in town. Look up your, look up your alcohol and your everything. <laughs> Just lock up everything." That kind of preceded us for a bit, um, but um, yeah, no, I think uh, I think the fact that I've been doing this professionally for like 21 years now, um, you know, that's since like our first album, so that's what I'd call professional. It's a fact that I'm like a bad smell that doesn't go away. And the people have started to realise, you know, he's not going to go away, so he might as well kind of accept the fact that he's here. How did you do earlier this year? Was it earlier this year or last year you were on tour with, um, I think it was in, within Temptation, was it? You were going around um, the oh, UK? 
Yeah, and Lakuta Coil was there. Yeah, Lakuta Coil. How, how was that? How was that? It was, it was brilliant, actually, because uh, a lot of um, a, a, a lot of the crew had been working for Cradle in the past, like the lighting guy, the monitor guy, uh, the tour manager, um, yeah, the sound guy. Um, so, and we shared a bus with Lakuna Coil as well. And I, I've known Christine and the guys for, for you know as long as I can remember. So it was really, really cool. And uh, we got on famously. Emotionless in why, you'd think for a bunch of Americans that are quite young and, and, and quite sort of, you know, goth and hair and all this and that, they were actually really, really, really nice people. I loved them. Um, and... Ah, so, so you were making a judgment based on the look? Well, no, I wasn't actually. It was more other people were saying that. They thought they were going to be a bit aloof and they were completely opposite. They were really nice people. Um, my only regret about the tour is that uh, I sang a song on their album and I think they were too nervous to ask me to sing it. So I only got round to singing it the last two shows. Um, and I'd, I enjoyed it so much, just going on there, you know, like... Uh, and it's quite a cool... It's a really cool track. Um, from the new album, and um, yeah, it would have been more fun. To, I've so enjoyed doing it. And the last show was just amazing. Anyway, one of the favourite of all the tours I've done, hundreds of tours. One of my favourite last days, because not only Government had a great show, and we had a big, you know, like a farewell meal and stuff like that, but then we all like piled on. I, I did my track for Motionless, and then we all piled on at the end, dressed as mummies in loads of loo roll. And uh, like sort of hogged the stage for them, and then we all went back on for Lacuna, and just had a bit of a. Party. It was a really sort of um, yeah festive party atmosphere. Yeah. Is that the kind of thing that you're open to nowadays? You know, like being a guest on people's albums and doing that kind of thing, like offering your input all over the place. Yeah, obviously I don't want to you know wear myself thin or just annoy people and just pop up everywhere. But um, yeah, I mean, it's good fun. If, if people want me to do that, I'm, I'm, I'm up for it, you know? And I'm into metal, so it's, uh, it's not a problem for me if it's not, you know, grind cussed, punk, death bash, you know, ginger metal. It's <laughs> ginger metal? Metal, in fact, you know? It's, it's, uh, if, if my voice can do it, then I, I'll lend it. So, yeah, quite like a prostitute. I was just curious as well, I know we're going to have to wrap this interview up shortly, is this the first time you've been at this particular festival or have you been here before? No, uh, no, I haven't been to this particular one, but we've done, I, I've been to the one at Camber Sands that used to run like ages and ages ago. We used to be in a studio just down the road from there uh, in Hastings. Um, and then there was another one, and I keep forgetting the name of it, but it was, uh, all I know it was where the world's strongest man was always filmed. Right. And it was in Devon, and that was cool. Um, which was about used to run sort of around uh, about November time, so I've done a couple of them. I think they're really good. God, God knows what people must think who have these static caravan homes, and they think let's just go for a quiet weekend. It's not the Easter holidays yet; it'll be quiet. They turn up here, and it's like you know, Beard Central. <laughs> I always used to think that they just put us press in the uh, caravans, but then last time I was here, Overkill were in the next caravan over. So it's all—it's very communal. We're all just staying in these tiny aeroplane bathroom style accommodations. Yeah, it's very nice. I'm going to move here. I'm going to divorce my wife and move here. I don't, don't say it. Don't put, put that there. That sounds awful. Too late. We're going to have to wrap this up now. On that bombshell. RK flooring. Oh, we're going to have to wrap this up then on that um, huge bombshell you just dropped. Do you have a message into the camera for all our readers at Get Your Rock Out? Uh, get Your Rock Out. Get Your Rock Out. It's right there. Behind. Right, my, my zip's broken, so that very well may happen later. Um, yeah, anyways, Danny from Cradle of Filth and Devilment. Sorry, Devilment and Cradle of Filth. Get it right today. Um, yeah, just uh, thanks for supporting both bands, and uh, I love you. What more can I say? Thank you very much. Have a good show, man. Cheers. Cheers.